Today in this video, we're gonna go over 10 of the easiest corals to take care of as a beginner hobbyist. It's not gonna be in any specific order. We're just gonna go through on a few of the corals that I think that are pretty easy for us to take care of in the hobby. Uh, some of them I still do have. A lot of people still, no matter their level in the hobby, still keep these corals. Some people only specialize in keeping these corals in their tank. A few of the corals I personally do not like to keep in my tank, but that doesn't mean that they're not nice. And some of them are actually very expensive. I just don't like the look of a few of them. So let's get into it. The first coral on the list is gonna be zoanthids or zoas for a lot of people. I actually started off with this coral. The first time I've ever bought coral was at a local swaparama, swap meet, whatever you want to call it. And I found a lot of zoas there and they weren't too expensive. So that, especially being new to the hobby, I thought, well, at least I could dabble in getting some corals without worrying about just burning money. With zoas, there's a lot of different morphs and with those morphs, some tend to like higher light, so they prefer to be closer to the top of the tank. Some prefer to be a little bit lower. Most people get away with just putting them in the sand bed of the tank. And that is an easy way to start off your zoas. A good way to tell if your zoas are receiving enough light is if your zoas are looking like they're stretched, where you could see a long shoot and then the flower-like coral up top, that means you need to move it up further in the tank. Or if it's receiving too much light, you'll notice that it's kind of retracted. Sometimes they don't even want to open. Sometimes getting a new coral, you put it in the tank, it might take a few days, so don't be alarmed if when you get the coral, it's not opened right away. You might need to leave it there for a few days and see if it opens up. Next on the list is going to be a leather coral. So with leather corals, a lot of people notice that green fluorescent kind of leather corals, but they come in many different colors, such as pink, purple, red, yellow, brown, beigey, brown, all those different colors. Uh, they're pretty easy, they grow very fast, so look out for that. The good thing though is that they're easy to propagate. You just need a pair of scissors, Number three on the list is going to be the toadstool. So one of the most famous toadstools that you'll find is the weeping willow. My friend Remy did a video on the weeping willow toadstool some time back. I'll link that video in the description box below. Number four on the list is gonna be the Xenia. So the Xenias, they're pretty nice. Most people know the most popular one, which is called the pulsing Xenia. It's called that just for the manner in which it moves. It pulses in the tank, just trying to grab anything that is passing by. Number five, the GSP, Green Star Polyp. If anyone has ever had a Green Star Polyp in their tank, they know this coral will take over your tank. It's advised to put it either on a back wall or to put it on a small rock, just being that it grows so fast, it will just overtake your tank. The green star polyp looks almost like a starfish, if you will, with most of them with a white center. Number six on the list is gonna be Euphilia corals. Euphilia is the scientific name for corals like hammer corals, uh, frog spawn, torch corals, which is also one of my favorite groups of corals. I mainly do like torch corals, but every now and again I'll see a frog spawn that I just have to get. With this type of coral, it is a LPS, so a large polyp stony coral. So it does have an encrusting 
core or encrusted body and then it has a soft polyp that extends from that these do tolerate different locations in the tank so you could move this around some people have them a little bit higher a little bit lower but just be cautious of your flow as well with this squirrel number seven on the list not one of my favorites is the bubble coral the bubble coral is just like what the name suggests it looks like a bubble it almost looks like bubble algae in some cases to me uh, but a lot of people a lot of new hobbyists they do love this coral just because it looks different and it gives some motion to the tank as well number eight the duncan coral the Duncan Coral is another LPS coral. It is very forgiving and so a lot of hobbyists, no matter if they're beginners or experts, still do love this coral. Not a lot of options as it comes to morphs, but it is still a beloved coral no matter what level in the hobby you are. Number nine on the list is going to be the candy cane coral. This type of coral has a few options as it relates to the color, but the most common is going to be the green candy cane coral. You'll see this in almost any LFS that you go to. And finally on this list is going to be the mushrooms. Mushrooms are my least favorite corals. They overtake your tank if you do not maintain it properly but if it is that you're looking for something to grow fast you want to be rewarded very quickly then mushroom corals would be a good option for you there's a lot of different types of mushroom corals so there if you're looking to add a splash of color this would be your best bet to add some color to the tank if you guys have made it this far in the video thank you for watching till next time keep reefing